MySQL is a synchronization with Zoho CRM. MySQL is the world's most popular open source database that can cost effectively help you deliver high performance, scalable database applications. Save your money and time powering the high volume websites, business critical systems, and packaged software. Many of the world's largest and fastest growing organizations, including Facebook, Twitter, Booking.com, and Verizon, rely on MySQL. Synchronize your MySQL with Zoho CRM to analyze and keep data up to date. And let's set up the extension. First of all, you have to agree to the terms of service and authorize MySQL synchronization. After that, you have the option to choose the users or profiles and, of course, the subscription plan. You can choose the annually or monthly based subscription or try the extension completely for free for 10 days. After you choose the plan, you're being redirected to Zoho CRM. Here you have to reload the page and now you can find the extension among the, all of the modules. Click on it and you will be redirected to the main synchronization settings. As you can see, before authorizing, there are no available modules. So push the button and let's authorize. Choose the region where your company is located and follow the instructions. Click at the client button and then server-based applications. In the field of a client name, you write down the MySQL sync. And to fill down the homepage URL, you go to Zoho authorizing setup copying it down and pasting in the field that you need to fill. And we do the same procedure for the authorized redirect URLs. Go to the previous page, copy it there and paste it at the Zoho API console. After that, push the create button. Now you get the client ID and client secret. Copy the client ID and paste it in the previous page. The same you do with the client secret. Now you can choose the domain of your company. If you're not sure which one do you have, you can go to Zoho CRM and check it. In our case, it's .com. Now we can go back and click the proceed button. Really important step, in this pop-up window, choose the production option and click submit. To start synchronizing, click the accept button and now we can go back to Zoho CRM. Here you have to reload your page and now you can see all of the available modules for synchronization. From all of the available modules, drag those that you want to synchronize. We chose contacts and leads. And don't forget to save the changes. As you can see, everything went successfully, so we can go to MySQL settings. Here you can find the host address, the port, username, password, and database name. Let's test the connection. Everything went successfully. Now you can choose also an interval of synchronization. For example, every 10 hours. And don't forget to save the settings. So, MySQL extension for Zoho CRM automatically builds the MySQL data structure, saves the API request and synchronizes all of the data. You can buy the MySQL extension or try it for free by the link down below. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel and click the notification button.